close your eyes and watch your breath. And try to have some control over your mind. Even the thoughts may come spinning out in different directions, you don't have to follow them. Make sure that your center of attention is right with the breath. Other things can be in the fringes, but at the time being that doesn't matter. You want to establish your intention that you're going to stay right here and pay it attention to what you're doing. Whatever thinking you're going to use, use it with the breath. You want to be in charge. All too often we're slaves to our thinking. Here they are tools, thoughts that we have that should be tools for making us happy. That's why we start thinking to begin with. We're trying to figure things out so we can get what we want. But all too often the thoughts just begin to take over. They take, they take on a life of their own. One thought leads to another and it builds and builds and builds a large edifice that seems so much bigger than us. So you have to learn how to take it apart. Each thought is a separate piece, separate piece, separate moment. And if you don't go with the separate moments, then the edifice begins to fall down. And your defilements now don't have anything to hide behind. So put your thoughts to good use. Make sure that you're in charge. Don't let them be in charge. We have that chat. We go around being a slave to craving. We live in this world of aging, illness, and death. Things are stressful, impermanent, not self. And yet our craving keeps us coming back to these things again and again and again, getting disappointed again and again. So it's time to find a new path. To trying to find time to find new friends, and that means putting ourselves in charge of our thoughts, so they do what we want, rather than having them push us around. It's in this way we gain our freedom. All too often we think of freedom as being doing what we want to do, but it really means doing what's in our own best interest, not being a slave to our cravings. So meditation is how we develop this freedom, so that we really are in charge. And then our thoughts become our tools. They can be put to a good purpose, a purpose that does lead to true happiness.